I would like to introduce this morning Izzy Dovebird, musician and singer-songwriter who comes from down the street in Natick, Massachusetts. Izzy was born in Philadelphia, and he moved to Massachusetts when he was eight months old and has been here ever since. He grew up in the town of Wellesley, where he has uh, said that he went to school with the poet Sylvia Plath. She was a few grades ahead of him, but they shared an art class, Izzy recalls, and he remembers Sylvia as chattering happily with her friend in art class, uh, having a good time, and that she was quite an artist, uh, in addition to later being known as poet. Izzy perhaps had his own kind of music percolating in that time in art class and a bit beyond, as when he was 19 years old, he picked up his first guitar, and he said he started picking and singing, and he hasn't stopped since. And he started writing his own songs in the late 50s as well. He was inspired by the country music up from National Barn Dance program on the radio, and he was hooked on folk music from the radio programs of Burl Ives. And Izzy stated that he felt comfortable with both, and in those days there was a lot of crossover. And so he performed both kinds of music and also went on to learn the art of yodeling by experimenting with what he heard on radio and recordings. And he said, as for songwriting while yodeling, it was experimental at first, and then it became more frequent over years. And Izzy noted, I guess it's just a fun thing to do. And lately, he has been performing more of his originals, although he often um, performs cover songs as well. But he's getting into sharing more of his original songs, and he noted much at the urging of his friends in the open mic community. And in conclusion, Izzy stated, I've played in a variety of venues. It's been a real trip, but it's been fun. So we look forward to the fun and the music and the joy of yodeling and song that Izzy Dovebird will be bringing. Please give a warm welcome to Izzy Dovebird. Well, he woke up every day to his alarm clock. And that is how he started off his day. The cold air made him shiver, and sometimes he would quiver, but he'd pull the covers off him anyway. Then one day he met his little sweetheart. She yodeled her way into his heart. From the day they tied the knot, 6 a.m. on the dot, she yodeled the morning away. have come and gone, that is true. But I'm not saying anything new. The hair has turned to gray, and the kids have moved away. And there's really not a lot for them to do. But every morning they reach for their guitars They strum and they yodel away With their guitars on their knees They yodel to part harmonies And that's how they start off their day 
Thank you. Who was that wise guy that said practice makes perfect? <laughs> this is a song called uh, Broken Hearts and Burning Bridges. There's a combination for you. <laughs> the sun's first rays come over the horizon. The ground is damp with the morning dew. The first thing that I think of's not surprising Cause all I ever think about is you I don't know why our love came to this ending I don't know why we left each other blue The two of us were always so unbending Now all I've got are memories of you Broken hearts and burning bridges Lonely roads that lead away from you Blues all seem to find me, always to remind me of shattered dreams that never will come true. The evening shadows all come softly creeping. While the moon is climbing in the sky The night wind blows through the willows weeping And sings to me a lonesome lullaby They say that broken hearts will find another the time will heal the wounds that love can bring But I don't want to love any other For only you can make my spirit sing Broken hearts and burning bridges Lonely roads that lead away from you The blues all seem to find me Always to remind me Of shattered dreams that never will come true The blues all seem to find me Always to the shattered dreams that never will come true.
How many storytellers out of here? Raise your hand. Okay. Since there's so many storytellers, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote a long time ago about storytellers. And it's called Old, Old Man Johnson. When I was just a little kid and living in this town I'd get together with my friends and we'd all hang around Sometimes we'd all go downtown and hang out in the park And listen to the stories Old Man Johnson told till dark now Johnson was a townie and he lived here all his life. His kids grew up and moved away and then he lost his wife. But he made friends with all the kids while he was growing old. And they'd all come down to hear the stories old man Johnson told. And he'd say, build bridges, don't burn them. Don't ignore life's lessons, but learn them. Love your fellow men, and do the best you can. And when people give you blessings, return them. Now many years have gone by since the time I was a kid And I still get embarrassed at the things we sometimes did But there's one memory in my mind that shines as bright as gold The one of old man Johnson and the stories that he told For nothing really matters Not power, wealth, or fame Except the loved ones in your life That you can call by name I still recall those summer days While sitting neath a tree and listening to the things that old man Johnson said to me And he'd say Build bridges, don't burn them Don't ignore life's lessons, but learn them Love your fellow man and do you can and when people give you blessings return them love your fellow man and do the best you can and when people give you blessings return them This is one of my more recent songs. Well, the stores don't look the same down on Main Street or some 
of the houses that I see. I'm looking for the place where I first met you. As I walk through the land of used to be. You said that we would always be together. But I guess that it wasn't meant to be. With every waking day I find your memory lingers in my mind. Walking through the land of used to be. It used to be we vowed love to each other. It was out there for all the world to see. Then one day you said you'd found another and left me walking through the land of used to be. Well, I don't know why I came back to this old town. Don't know what I expected to see. But I won't sit and wonder why. One last look and then goodbye. Walking through the land of used to be. One last look and then goodbye Walking through the land of used to be This is a little bit of a protest song because I've been into traditional country for ages and you, you can't get to hear it anymore because they're playing that uh, Las Vegas stuff. <laughs> so this is a song that's a little bit of a protest. Hopefully it sounds a little bit traditional, and it's called I Sure Could Use a Country Song Today. Words were said in haste and hearts were broken. The blues all hang around and seem to stay. My days are so lonely I'm longing for you only And I sure could use a country song today I'm tuning across the dial to hear some music A hurting song to help the pain go away but I get no consolation from this radio station And I sure could use a country song today Where are all the three chord songs we used to love so well? 
they're just playing pop and rock as anyone can tell I spend all of my hours thinking of you my teardrops have seen the light of day but I don't want a new love all I want is you love and I sure could use a country song today I sure could use a song to drive those low down blues away I wish that I could write a song to send you in hopes that you be coming back to stay with every day a morning I cry from night till morning and I sure could use a country song today with every day a morning I cry from night till morning and I sure could use a country song today. I'd like to tell you about the birthday club that I formed for the women. Once every month, I invite every woman who has a birthday that month to come to the superintendent's house, that turreted Victorian house where I live. I greet each woman at the door with a cupcake, with a candle on it. I ask her, what is the date of your birthday? And then I light the candle and I give her a little quotation, which I hope will be inspirational. And then it is time for the presents. There are beautifully wrapped presents. Uh, they're just like soap or, or um, pens or combs. But I tell them that there is one for each of them. And since they all cost the same amount of money, they are perfectly free to exchange them. And then we have a birthday cake. And then in the round window we stand and hold hands and I ask them to think about the value of life and I say a little prayer and as each woman leaves I say goodbye to her at the door and there was one woman who said to me I'm 33 years old today and I've never had a birthday party but this one made it worth the wait. My pals from prison, sitting surrounded by lumps of steel, I pore over complexity, wires and switches, software and screens, looking for the flaws, searching for tomorrow's bugs. This is my life, cerebral, day upon day we float on the sea, reaching deep into Mother Earth, searching for the lifeblood of modernity, sucking her lifeblood, stabbing the seabed with six-inch probes, drilling and scraping, eager to find the rich deposits of oil, the black gold. And then the email comes in, telling me about the poetry in the prison, the recap, as we call it, describing the bared souls, the sadness, the courage, the deepest of sharing, and I am reminded that these are the rich deposits of the soul and they are worth working for. It is these sharings that feed me, not, not the computer code or the problem solving. How we have grown these past years, from nothing we have mined the deep vein of tragedy and found our own gold of resolve and respect. Judgment tossed aside as the cuttings I see from the wells we dig. There is a clear path to our souls, cutting through the conventional and the material. One day, the wells will dry up. We will live more simply, but I will feed and feed again with my pals from the prison. And metaphor be Thank you. 
Some people say the lady smiles because she is thinking of her love, walking hand in hand in the garden with the moonlight high above. Others say that's all wrong. Who knows? They might be right. They say it's just because she's taken off her shoes, which were too tight. <laughs> Still others say it's no smile at all. This group is really skeptic. They say it's an embarrassed look because the lady was loudly dyspeptic. Those who claim it is a smile, gentle, sweet, and mild, say it's because she has just learned she's going to have a child. But I don't go along with that. That theory is not so hot. I think she smiles because she has just learned that actually she's not. <laughs> uh, that was pretty, pretty heavy stuff in 1933. <laughs> Just walk.